Uh, hey guys, so today we're going to um, kind of uh, do a, a brief um, rundown of a couple different um, sort of charts we can use for the for the uh, next couple of days, and we're just going to create some sample uh, infographics that aren't going to have any um, uh, data involved in them, just to sort of look at uh, different ways of, of visualizing data, and it's a big important skill to have for the for the next you know decade or so when it comes to the, the, the job market. So we're, we're looking at like data visualization. The whole idea is that at some point, someone's gonna need a designer to design the way they're gonna envision the data. You're gonna need your own like sort of data gathering methods. You're gonna need your own software to crunch that data. And then um, at some point, you're gonna have to be able to present that data in a, in a way that's gonna be both, um, both uh, easy to decipher and pleasing to look at because uh, aesthetics always have a value, especially in, in um, you know any kind of marketing um, research kind of a situation. Um, okay, so you can see right here, this is a little page I, I brought up. I'll, I'll link this in the description um, to your D2L uh, Dropbox here. And essentially, what it's, it's trying to uh, explain is basically that like pie charts and, and donut charts, which is what we're going to be using this time, um, are basically the same, same thing, right? And so we've got different ways of creating a donut chart. If I go over here, I can see I've got um, uh, just a pie graph. I don't have a donut chart. The donut chart is basically a pie graph, um, pie chart that simply takes the middle out and instead of looking at like the center and the area of each of the individual sort of chunks of the pie chart, um, we are looking instead to kind of comparing the lengths of the different sections of the donut along the along the edge. Um, and as this uh, uh, website kind of goes into, if you want to read through that, um, we as human beings have sort of evolved our uh, kind of uh, gauging or distance uh, more so than our ability to kind of gauge the comparison of, of different areas and stuff. So it's just it's just a different way of, of presenting the exact same thing. Now, one thing this person mentions is that there's um, one thing that's it's kind of hard to uh, do is, is sort of comparison. So if you look at all this right here, it's like looking at them side by side. Um, he's it's just basic different sort of race of doing something, whatever it was he was talking about. He doesn't actually say what this is all about, which doesn't really matter. You basically say that it's it's hard to sort of like defer, like to differentiate which which one is more, which one is like you know a bigger percentage and stuff like that. Is it is it this one? Is it this one right here? Which which one is a is a higher rate? And so there's different ways of, of putting putting this through. So um, well, I'm just going to show you a, a real um, easy way of creating a, a series of of, uh, of donut charts that are going to be very easy to kind of tell the difference. So let's go ahead and create a pie chart here, and um, let's just create a pie chart with one value or uh, or two values that, that are going to equal out to like say 100. Um, so for instance, we can and we can do two that are that are very close. Uh, close. For instance, we'll have one be set to the order of like 37. And then, the, uh, you know, 100 minus 37 is, what, 63. So we have like 100, and, you know, it's like, right? and so we'll just um, uh, do that. And so we can see it's just about one third um, right here. And then we'll do something like, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll make a new pie chart by simply holding down the Alt key and dragging this to the side. And you see, we still have this little chart here. We can crunch our numbers. Uh, I'll make uh, this one here, uh, say 41. And uh, over here, I'll make this one, um, instead of it being 63, 59. Right? So the gray area will be, and you can kind of see it's a little bit a little bit bigger. But um, so his point essentially was that if we were just to kind of put these side by side, it's hard for us to kind of tell which one's bigger. Um, so if I were to like, you know, obviously put these in the same chart, um, that would, that would, but the, the point isn't so much that this is the same chart. The point with the with these donut charts that we're going to be making is that it's comparing the rates of two different sort of groups. So, um, so I'm going to say, for instance, um, um, you know, rate of car of we'll say you know non fatal car crashes, and I've just totally made this up. Um, uh, and then say by age group, and um, I can just sort of like put put this you know here you know side by side, right? So um, maybe this one could be people who are aged twenty five to thirty four, and over here we have people that are aged forty four to fifty five or something like that, you know, and so or or, or something to that that effect. So whatever it is you want you want to compare, um, much like the pie chart where we had like the you know. Um, started with the biggest and then worked our way down to the smallest or, you know, biggest to smallest, smallest to biggest. Uh, we want to have um, probably the, the bigger value being on the outside um, and, the, and we're going to stack this up together. But before we do all that, let's just kind of like, you know, kind of determine what we're going to have in terms of colors. So I'm going to go to object ungroup. I'll do that. Uh, press yes. I'll do that one more time. Object ungroup. And then allow me to just change this color real quick to say, for instance, you know, blue and this to like a different sort of shade of blue 
and um, so they'll be sort of like, right? Um, all right, let me just make this a bit bigger here. Remember, whenever we resize, we always want to, um, you know, hold down, um, hold down shift. Uh, and I'm going to, um, for instance, here now for in this case, I'm going to keep this white. Um, but if you wanted to change the background color, you are welcome to. And um, that, but 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 before you go any further, go ahead and determine what the background color is going to be, um, because this next step here um, is going to involve the background color. So if you want to change the background color, go ahead and do that now. And once you've decided that, um, select both of your pie charts here and change the stroke color to the color of your background. If you want it to be white, keep it white. Um, if you want it to be a different color, just change it to the same color. Um, and, um, and just maybe increase the size of your stroke a little bit. That way, we kind of it looks like we have these sort of disparate chunks here. Um, all right, so with that done, I'm going to grab one of these guys. I'll just I'll regroup this Control G, and I'll just hold down Shift and make this a good deal bigger. And then I'll grab this guy here, just like both of these parts, Control G, and um, I'll just hold down Shift, grab both of these, and I'll click on um, whichever one, and I'll just center this. Uh, here in this case, I'm gonna right. Okay, good. So I just did the whole control shift and then bracket to bring it into the bottom. So this is on the bottom. This is on the top. And as you can see, we can kind of we can kind of see the the donut chart being formed here. I'm gonna make them both a bit bigger. Just sort of hold down shift and you can kind of center it somewhere in the uh, page here. And we'll center everything in a second. Um, all right. So the last thing we'll do, uh, when, uh, so the next thing we'll do is we'll create a new circle here. I might make that like a different color. I might get red, um, just to make sure I know. And I'll take the stroke off, and then I'll just um, have that selected. Hold down Shift, select one of the other pie charts here, and I'm I'm going to click on the pie chart again to highlight that, make that the key object, and then center this here. Um, and then what we can do is we can get our um, both of our pie charts here um, selected here. And what I'll do in this case is I'm going to make this one in the middle just a slight bit bigger. Hold on Alt and Shift, so it stays the same size and it's center, it centers it resizes from the center. That way I'm trying to make it to where this dark blue bar and this light blue bar are roughly the same sort of width here. Um, and you can kind of see, you know, how that's going. Um, all right, so with that done, I'll select all of these. Get my Shape Builder tool over here. Remember that? Um, hold down Shift and then press M on the keyboard. And then we'll hold down Alt and we'll just sort of drag through the center here, which will make that middle line disappear. Um, all right. And so we've got a couple different ways of labeling this. Um, we can simply um, put text on the actual... Um, um, on the actual uh, graph here, or we can create a legend. And uh, the legend is usually done with just a simple shape. Um, for instance, we can go in the middle here, we can create two squares, I'll hold down shift, I'll create a square here, and I'll um, take the fill off, or the stroke off rather. And um, I'll hold on Alt and drag that down. And actually, I won't do that quite yet. What I'll do is I'll, um, I'll take my text tool and I'll just oops take my text tool over here and I'll say something to the effect of like you know 16 through 17 right age range so generally speaking we'll say that we'll say this this group here because it's it's um it's uh, this is a common knowledge but it's uh, you know uh, pretty well documented that the younger uh, demographic uh, you are the higher the rate of car crashes um, and I think it just kind of goes on a downward trend up until you hit about the age of 70 or 80 or so in which case it, it starts to go back up um, and then um, we'll, we'll sort of create this uh, another thing here and we'll just kind of put this and we'll call this um, 18 to 19 and so that we can kind of see that as you get a little older and so from before um, when these were let me just uh, kind of control X this and I'll just control Z a couple times just to show you, you don't have to do all this but just to kind of show you once again all right so uh, recall this stuff th these two pie charts here and look at look at how difficult it is uh, and even if we did have this as a donut chart even if we had these sort of blanked out in the middle here in fact I'll just I'll just do that real quick I'll make a circle and I'll just, um, I'll make it white. And I'll just drag it to the center here. Both like 
So I'm just uh, right, it's just gonna show. Oh, hello. Um, and so you can kind of see, even with the, with the donut chart kind of done for both of these, looking at these side by side, it's very hard to tell which is the which is the higher rate, just because they're similar enough in in like the proportion they take up that it's unless they were very different, um, it'd be difficult to tell. But if we look at the stacked donut chart here, it's very easy to tell. Now, even though this is a smaller circle, um, it, it's still sort of you can you can kind of follow the lines, the sort of you know Gestalt principles grouping that this is this is where it would be. Even if we would like say for instance make this one bigger, we could tell that it would like end. It would end like you know kind of back here somewhere. Um, so you can kind of follow that line out here. So it's clearly this is a lower proportion than this one is the stacked donut right here. Um, all right, so just um, by virtue of uh, uh, this, what we'll do is we'll just sort of control G all this and we'll center it into the middle of the artboard here. And um, we'll kind of have this be the at the end of this particular project here, right? So this is just a simple um, method of visualizing your data. We have a uh, two different groups that do not make up the same group. So for instance, um, this is non-fatal car crashes. So we've got like, you know, of the drivers at a certain rate, this percentage of six, 16 to 17 year olds got into a car crash uh, that was non-fatal, right? You know, and so it was like a, you know, 41%. So they, uh, the, the others either never got into a car crash or they got into a car crash where they met an untimely end. So then over here, we've got 18 to 19. So this is a different sort of rate, different sort of group um, and a different measurement. And all we're doing is comparing the two. They do not, they do not belong in the same pie chart because um, they are not part of the same sort of you know, sort of a survey or, 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 or data study, as it were. If we wanted to like put them in the same group, we would have like 16 through 19, and we would sort of average out the, the rate between the two, and it'd be somewhere between, you know, 37 and 41, from like 38 or something. So uh, 38.5 or whatever. Um, so so this, is, this is why we're doing this, this sort of um, uh, uh, stack donut chart. We're comparing two separate rates. So that's a good way of uh, visualizing your data if you're having two things that are similar enough to where putting them in separate pie charts wouldn't be enough to 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 show you what's uh, what we had to sort of visualize that difference, and this is a good job of doing that. Um, all right, so I'm just going to put my name down here at the bottom. You do the same. Put your name down here. I'll just put Mr. Lobello, um, and uh, you just obviously turn this in as a JPEG. Let's go ahead and um, do the sort of file export for screens and make sure it's a JPEG and set it to 100 and make sure that you are choosing where it's going to go. So you know, go somewhere here in pictures, it's fine. And then rename it over here, uh, stacked donut chart, and then press export artboard, right? And then you can, uh, it'll open it up and you can see the stacked donut chart. And the various other things that I've been making here. So, <laughs> okay. Anyways, <laughs> all right. So, uh, can I just produce? Um, and I'll see you in class.